directions. And again, everybody's like, okay, okay. He's, he's like, you know what? You screw around one more time, there's going to be trouble here. Now you prove that you're a woman, or there's going to be trouble. And I said, okay, okay, fine. I can't open a sliding screen door without knocking it off the track. And really, everybody but one guy said, all right, this is a woman. But there was this one sergeant who is completely absent, any kind of sense of humor, and he says, okay, all right, you want to be funny? We're going to do this the hard way. <laughs> Pull your skirt up. And I go, okay. Uh -oh. And he said, no, 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 uh -oh. from the front. <laughs> And I'm there, you mean like this? He's there all the way. And I go, oh, hold, 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 hold on a second here. Aren't you going to have to do some kind of a body cavity search or something anyway? And he said, actually, when we bring people in here under suspicion of DUI, we don't do a body cavity search. But in your case, we're going to make an exception. <laughs> And I'm there, me and my big mouth. So I'm sure you want to know how it went. And uh, what I will say is that uh, I was not really overly impressed with the professionalism in the Lee County lockup. But uh, on the other hand, you see, and I, I've had a lot of body cavity searches in the past. <laughs> And that's what I found out is there is a reason why Lee County is one of the only places in the entire country where they can actually charge you to go to jail and get away with it because the body cavity search is worth the money. I'm just saying. <laughs> so get this. They put me in the women's cell block, fully clothed because they're just holding me at this point. And I'm like, hallelujah, this is going very, very well, because I'm scared shitless. And, uh, but I'm saying, okay, uh, I've got my corset, and this thing is heavy leather, and it's double ribbed, ribbed steel. So I'm like, shag proof, okay? But you know what? There's always gotta be one to ruin your fun, am I right? And some fucking broad starts bitching that I'm in there. So they take me out, and they put me in the men's cell block. That was great. You probably want to know how that went. I can tell you this much. Uh, I was everybody's favorite girl. And... Uh, you are probably wondering uh, if there was any unwanted sexual contact. Were we? And uh, <laughs> what I will say is that a lot of it was unwanted. And actually, I had just a little... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All one of you. That is a good line, isn't it? There's a little thing called subtlety. Learn a lesson from it. And uh, I will say that just about every sexual fantasy that I ever had got fulfilled. <laughs> if you want to know, actually, the black guys and the Hispanic guys were not too bad. And that's namely because I had my white wig on and I was exactly what they like a blonde, overweight, bimbo. So the, the, the Hispanic guys are actually quite gentlemanly. Well, after the first day, by the, by the way, they let all the other drunks go in 10 to 12 hours. They kept me there for 30 days because they kept penalizing me for what they called my inappropriate sexual behavior. Yeah, extending my time there. So uh, after the second day, they did put me into an orange jumpsuit but uh, I still had my makeup on because this is professional makeup. It's for like if you're going to do the 
uh, Sports Illustrated, Illustrated swimsuit issue and you're going to come up out of the water and the makeup's still going to be perfect. When you buy my makeup, you also have to buy the remover to go along with it. And there's no remover in jail. So uh, they put me in a jumpsuit. I still got my makeup on. And I'm still getting unwanted sexual contact. So uh, what I did was decided to uglify myself. So, you can't get the makeup to come off, but you can smear it. So I smeared it. And that's when the goth guys started to take an interest. <laughs> and you know what? They are perverted. But you know who was the most perverted of the bunch? This won't surprise you. The white nationalists. Bunch of perverted sons of bitches. All right, so look. Uh, you're going to find out the hard way, like I did, if you're unlucky, that if you get charged with a crime in Lee County, Florida, <laughs> you're getting convicted of something, okay? And so they overcharge you so that you will plead down. And it's one thing to see a guy on TV and say, fight it. It's way different when they start threatening you and you're, you see a bunch of attorneys, all of which say they are going to win. So I got convicted of a lesser crime once again, even though I was not even drinking. And now I am on probation. You haven't lived until you are 65 years old. And it is 4 a.m. And you are facing an upcoming trial, which will probably land you serious jail time. And you are drunk off your ass, stoned on weed, and wearing girls' clothing. And your millennial Uber driver picks you up, and the whole drive home he's lecturing you on your poor life choices. And you know he's right. <laughs> so yeah, I'm on probation. Which means that I can't drink, because if you get caught drinking, they send you back to jail. And really, I'm undecided right now as to whether or not I want to go back. <laughs> so I'm doing what you're supposed to do. I'm reevaluating my life choices. And I got a whole new set of friends. So really, Going to jail was kind of a good thing for me. Thank you. Thank you very much.